Hey there, fun food fans. It's Karen Ricks, head chef of our kitchen classroom. And if you've been keeping an eye on some of the things that we've been sharing uh, across the various social media platforms, then you have seen just how much fun we have been having baking bread here in our kitchen classroom over the last couple of months. I am in the middle of dinner preparations here tonight, and I just wanted to share with you this super simple technique for rolling out knots of dough. We are having a little pasta night, and so to accompany it, we're going to have some garlic knots. So come on down, and I'll show you how we do that. <laughs> okay, so just above my board here, which is lightly dusted, both my hands, and just a little bit on the upper board, I'm going to take out a piece of dough which I have in this big covered bowl. This was the bowl in which I was proofing the dough. Uh, after I gave it about an hour and a half to rise, I cut the dough sections into four pieces and I'm leaving the portions covered here that I haven't yet rolled out because we don't want the dough to dry out before we finish. I'm gonna drop a quarter of it into my lightly dusted flour here just so that it doesn't stick. That's gonna help to absorb a little bit of the flat or the oil that we used to line the bowl to make sure that the dough could rise unfettered in the bowl. I'm going to use my knife here and just cut this small ball into quarters so that we have smaller pieces of dough to work with to roll our garlic knots. I'm going to take three of these pieces and set them off to the side and there are a couple of different ways that you can roll your knots. I like to use my hands a lot these are our favorite kitchen tools ever. And so you can see I'm rolling the dough and just letting the snake start to slowly extend out from my palms as I gently roll it. Remember, I don't want to deflate all of the beautiful bubbles that we have in this risen dough. So once it's stretched so that it covers all four of my fingers on both hands, I'm going to take the dough, overlapping one end over the other, and then tucking the tail right here in through the loop. There's the knot. And as you'll see here over on the side, I have a lined baking sheet that's covered with a towel. I'm gonna to put my knots under here. Again, keeping it covered so the dough doesn't roll dry out. We'll demonstrate that again so that you can see. This is a wonderful activity for you to uh, engage those small hands in your kitchen classroom, wherever you are in the world. And you can make lots of other shapes besides just knots. We have been playing and rolling and twisting all kinds of doughs. We especially love the enriched doughs because you have so much more pliability, I think, to work with in the dough. And it's just, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> it really, really is. All right, so we've got our snake stretched out, we'll cross it over, and then tuck the extended end from the bottom up and over, and you can even give it a little tug down through the loop. But we want the dough to kind of stick to itself to help hold that knotted shape. Okay, and if you don't want to roll it in your hands, you can use the surface, giving a gentle pressure down and out as you spread your hands, moving the fingers gently apart. It's almost a swimming kind of motion. Down and out, down and out. That's something that we use a lot in our rolling techniques, and not just for bread dough either. <laughs> but once you've got that nice lengthy knot, cross it over, tuck it through the hole, and there you go. We're gonna leave these for their second rise on the covered sheet here, in just maybe another 15 or 20 minutes. We'll brush them with garlic oil and throw them in the oven, and these will be our garlic knots for dinner. <laughs> I want you to have fun playing with dough in your kitchen classroom, wherever you are in the world. And be sure to come and join us over in our Play With Your Food community, where you can share pictures and stories and details about all the fun and the learning that's happening in your kitchen classroom all over the world. I can't wait to see you on the inside. Take care, everybody.